Hey guys, Mohan Pober here and today I'm going to talk about where can you find your ideal clients and this is part three. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to me and my channel, I'm basically here to share my experience being involved in more than 10 businesses, all seven figure businesses. And I'm here to share with you my lessons, my experiences, some of my mistakes, some of the things that worked for me. And I'm also here to kind of like talk about different options to grow a business, mainly about growing so there's two ways right there's one way to grow organically by doing more sales and marketing and the other way is by growing by acquisitions and i'm here to explore some of those different options if you're watching this on, on youtube subscribe to the channel i promise you won't regret it and hit the notification button um yeah otherwise feel free to also check the links in the description below we have a free uh, mastermind uh, mastermind we can basically on how to double your business and we're sharing all those different strategies. So if you have a business, you can definitely check it out. And, and yeah, that's, that's it for the introduction. Let's get to today's topic. So this is the part three on how to find your ideal clients. And many people message me, they ask me, where do I find those ideal clients? Those clients who have a trust fund behind them, who can pay me a lot of money for my products, my services, and will come back again and again and again to pay for everything that I have in my business. And how can I bring them in and make sure they convert in my funnels? and they think that there's one magic thing that will allow them to get access to the best clients. And I'm here to tell you that it's not, but today I wanna to talk about something very, very specific. And today what I wanna talk about is the problem of trying to get one client at a time. So instead of trying to go and find sources where you can get literally hundreds of clients at once, you're trying to get one client at a time. And remember, if you don't have customers, you don't have paying customers, eventually you won't have business because your business is basically, if you don't have clients, you won't have revenues and money coming in. And if you're not, you don't have money coming in and cash flow, you won't have a business eventually. So that's kind of like, I guess, one of the biggest mistakes that I see. I see people go out there and hustle to get one client at a time. And it just, that struggle is what makes their business really have lots of ups and downs. So they have few months where they're getting lots of clients, other months where they're getting no clients, few months where they're basically making money and other months where they're basically um, barely surviving by that money that came the other months, if that makes sense. Now, don't get me wrong, you definitely need the process to bring a client and convert it, to bring a prospect and convert it into a paying client. What I see people are doing is they're basically always running in circles instead of doing the most important thing, which is what they can do to get results. Like I see people go out there and start to build blogs or they'll go to a different web designer and want to build a new website. Guys, no one, no one gives a shit if your website is beautiful or not. Like no one is going to look at your website and say, oh my God, this website is, is so beautiful. Let's pay him $20,000, right? No, no one cares about it. People care about the outcome that you can give them, about the value that you can give them. And unless you can give them value and some kind of outcome to to help them with their problems, they won't pay you $20,000 just because you have tons of followers or on Instagram or tons of subscribers on, on YouTube. No one gives a shit about that. They care about the value that you can bring them. And unless you can give them value, there's not really any tangible there. So I wouldn't waste time going out there and, and spending too much money on things that are around what's most important in business. Now, when you do have a good product or a good service, then yeah, you want to put that service or product in front of as many people as you can. But if you're doing it one client at a time, it's just going to take you a lot of time. And that's what everyone else are telling you. They're telling you, hey, find one client or, or they're telling you about this new marketing strategy to get these best clients or to get opt-ins for your funnel for just few more dollars that it's not it doesn't matter guys business is is very basic it's fundamental it's about getting more leads getting then convert those leads and and sell and deliver a good product so basically get leads sell those leads and deliver a good product that's that's business in a nutshell now yes you can grow organically by doing that process or you can go and buy a business and the process is very similar it's basically find deals um make offers on those deals and, and close those deals. And maybe in the middle, you have the raising capital phase where you obviously need to raise some capital to buy those businesses. But I'm here to basically tell you, don't listen to everyone and tell you, yeah, you need to get one client at a time. Your best bet is to go out there and either find sources who already have access to hundreds of your clients and build relationships with them. So that's what we call a joint venture. Or if you can't find those people, and that's what that's the problem. It's many times really hard to go to your leaders in your in your field and convince them to promote your products. 
and it's really really hard unless you already exist in for many many years and it's more about the relationship you have with those people your other option is to go and buy a complementary business or to try and go and buy your competitor and they have already access to many many prospects that you can basically promote your product to from day one of buying them so instead of hustling to get one car at a time you'll see you'll find out that many people want to sell their business in your industry as well or in complementary sectors that have similar clients or similar uh, basically services that you can then promote to your list of clients so there's many cross on opportunities that you can find and those people who want to sell their business many times they want to retire they have some personal issues there's many things involved and even if they don't want to retire for many people if you just offer them the opportunity to exit their business for a fair price I mean many people will take that because they're tired of being in that business for so many so for so long and you can basically give them that relief and you don't need a lot of money either way you can go to financial institutions and raise a lot of that capital and maybe you need to put like a small percentage from your own packet i'm talking maybe five or ten percent of the total deal value you can literally go and, and double your business or triple your business in, in an afternoon by buying a second business and most people are just not aware that that's one of the ways many people are aware that you can go to your the leaders in your industry and go and build relationships with them and then have some kind of joint joint venture relationship or an affiliate relationship but many people are not aware that you can go and buy other businesses and grow your business that way so that one, then the beauty is also that instead of then going and hustling to get one client at a time you can literally sell your product to their to the business that you're buying they have a list of clients you can sell your product to their list of clients like this and you don't have the cost to acquire the clients because you don't have any more marketing expenses because that business that you bought already have the relationship with those clients and just the, the, the upside is just amazing everything that's going to, every sell that you can get is all going to go down to your bottom line to your profit and that's something that is unheard of when you try to get one client at a time the cost of getting one client at a time is just so high it's either a, a lot of time or a lot of money in advertising, sales and things like that now growing by acquisitions isn't for everyone it's for people who want to grow fast yes you can continue to grow one client at a time but growing by acquisitions require basically it just making a decision as the ceo of how fast you want to grow and if you really want to grow your business and that's your goal then growing by acquisitions can definitely fit your business so if you want to explore that me and my team were involved in more than 300 deals and we can help you we can we are happy to have a call with you and figure out if growing by acquisitions is for you or not if it is we are happy to uh, i guess learn and, and help you figure out the ways to do that and potentially work with you to do that and if not we are happy to send you to someone else who can help you with that so either way whatever happens we are happy to to add value to you and figure out if that can work for you um but yeah that's that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed it see the links in the in the description below to join our free uh, mastermind and also yeah like subscribe comment below let me know what you think and I'll see you soon